I haven't tried this in a while. I'm gonna. <clears throat> Hi, I'm a person. I'm not. I'm not puking. <laughs> See, when we talk on radio, you want to talk. You want to talk radio when you, you. They call it puking when you talk like this. <laughs> but instead, <clears throat> I'm just. Hi, I'm Conrad. This is the Fargo Five. That's that's kind of the podcasty way to do it. We. <clears throat> But I got I got to like center myself and stop <laughs> not like jumping up cuz I want to like hey everybody look at me um but no <clears throat> hi we have Mike Binder here today and he's from Tammy's Towel he's one of the owners hello Mike hello again I'm going to I'm going to try to just like like uh, take a Valium on this one and just <laughs> see we'll see how that works out I'm going to I'm not going to get really excited <laughs> people don't like the excitement they're all on SSRIs and just like <laughs> Relax. Yeah. Okay. Um, we do frequently asked questions on this okay. segment, and people want to know, first and foremost, what kind of shoes do you wear when you're doing the Tammy's Towel work? Well, during the summertime now that I'm retired, I've lived the croc life. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, because you're working... <clears throat> no, sorry. <clears throat> You're working from home, <laughs> right. and working from home, yeah. you, maybe you don't even have to put pants on. That's my, I. That's my. So I right. always say, like, uh, if I got to put pants on for it, it better be worth it, because otherwise, <laughs> I'm just at home, right? Yeah. And I, I don't wear pants at home. Are you Are you working in your underwear and socks all the time, or do you? Uh, well, I call them my jammy pants. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's another yeah. good thing about the being a business at home. Is yeah, that it really aspect. is. Uh, yeah, only got to get dressed when you got to go out and run errands or something. Yes, when well, the 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 allure of the baseball cap too, because then you don't yep. even have to do your hair, right? Like I got to force well, myself. Yeah, uh, and I got a ton of baseball hats, depending <laughs> on what I want to advertise for. It. <laughs> I um, so I have many businesses, so I probably go through three different costumes in a day. I've got hooks all over my walls <laughs> so that I can do a costume change. Uh, so you're rocking the croc life. Yeah, and that makes my family just giggle because that's <laughs> not me. But, uh, you know, when you wear Crocs at a booth, at a show. Is that what you're wearing at the show? No. Yeah, because then I can take them off, you know, when it's warm or too hot. Then you can just take your, you know, the Crocs off and have. Be barefoot? Yeah, barefoot at the or show? just with the socks. At the show? Yeah, well, there's nobody on the booth. And then someone comes in the booth, you go ahead, slip the Crocs back on. and But, uh yeah, it's just a, a good feel. But you're barefoot in public? Uh, I typically wear socks, except when we're out. Wait, at, Crocs we do with a, socks? Crocs is that how they're Is that how they're supposed to be worn? I don't know, but I'm also <laughs> 58, and that's the way I wear them. <laughs> but they're great conversation starters. Man, we learn about the gibbets, and, uh, and that's what just amazing. What are those? Right, right, everybody says. Right? Yeah, just the shirts, the hats. Some of the product, just the conversations it brings up is just, it's just awesome. Are you going to be laser embroidering Crocs next? Uh, no, but I'd love to make like little gibbets now that I've found I don't out know about what a that. What is a gibbet? I don't a even. A gibbet I is even... a little uh, ornament that goes in the holes of the Croc. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay. And people are really, yeah. it's like a whole thing. Yeah. And you can start decorating your Crocs. Who I knew? know nothing about Who knew? I know nothing about any of it. Okay. Um, all right. Here's uh, another question. And you, you seem to have an interesting answer. I, I teased this one uh, to you before we even started. How many times can you wear jeans before you need to wash them? Well, I'm probably going to gross a lot of people out, but it's a few days. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not what you, when we were no. walking in here, you yeah, said three, three months. months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not quite three months, but yeah, uh, the problem I have is we have a black lab that drools oh, when it's supper yeah. time and she'll come up and beg on your knee with a big <laughs> drool string so i probably wash jeans more than they're typically supposed to be used or washed but yeah i i wear mine for a few days okay when well, i yeah it's t like i said i hang them up all over the place so i yep. i literally in one day i'll wear four different pairs of pants so it's oh, not wow. like i'm wearing it for a whole day and yep. yeah I, I i'm not sure on to be honest i'm, I'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> um Here's one that's a little, little interesting, especially uh, uh, given that you are a retired gentleman. Um, which would you say is your favorite? Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, or Marvel? Ooh, that's a good one because we just met uh, Dirk Menedict here in Fargo this year from Battlestar Galactica. Ooh, 
Uh, he was at Pop Expo, one of Tony Tilton shows. Whoa! Uh, next year will be Catherine Bach, the original Daisy Duke. But to answer your question, out of those four, Marvel. Marvel, really? I, I do like, I mean... I like the original Battlestar Galactica from the 70s because that shows I <laughs> grew up watching, <laughs> yeah. you know, live on uh-huh. TV. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the Marvel Universe, uh, you, when you think I of just a like typi- the way they do it. Really? When you think of a typical Marvel person, you think that's maybe for uh, a younger demographic generally. But you, yeah. what's your favorite Marvel character or your ma- favorite Marvel movie? Uh, boy, that's, uh, I suppose, the the Avengers, but growing up you know comic wise moon knight i love that they did moon knight yeah but that was just you know like a little mini mini series it must be so rewarding to see something that you grew up with finally yeah. put to film oh yeah i mean good lord i kiss was my first band back in 73 <laughs> and they just retired you know like this yeah, year yeah, yeah. to have something stuff like that throughout your whole life is just awesome but yeah, i just like the banter how it's done serious comedy uh of the marvel and that out of those choices all right well i think that is all the time for marvel that we have we are going to take a break and when we come back we'll have our last segment if you believe it it's 11 45 already <laughs> well our last segment fargo favorites so don't go nowhere <laughs> 